All right, dudes and dudettes, welcome back to Seopolis. Guys, we're in a new space. Pretty cool, huh? Yes, it is right underneath over here. So, yeah, we can see all of our items being pumped over here now. It's kind of crazy looking, if you ask me. But, uh, yeah, today we're going to be working in here. Uh, this is going to be our not-so-pretty setup. So, like, We'll probably end up moving this down there, probably this down there, because this is going to be, you know, making the uh, overworld matter for us. We're going to find a way to automate that today. That is the point of the episode, but I just want to show you guys this here real quick. And just so you guys know, I just took the building gadget here and then just traced around the outside and built down. Uh, I actually kind of didn't do a very good job. Here, I'll show you. Um... If we look over here, yeah, you can tell that was a building one because there's a bunch of leftover crap all around. Uh, so, yeah, we'll fix that later on, but I just wanted to show you guys. It's pretty simple. It only took me about uh, 15 minutes to do, and then I had this nifty energized sponge on the stick that I bought from the store a couple uh, episodes back. And that was good up until we got to the mechanism cables. I had to use just basic uh, sponges from Minecraft in order to get these I get the water sources out of there, but then it worked perfect. So other than that, it was pretty good. Then I used the exchange wand to swap out some of the stuff for uh, some glass so we could see out into the blue void. Uh, good thing is that we're not below Y level something, so we get mining fatigue. Uh, but if we continue to go downward, we're probably going to get the mining fatigue. So there's that. Uh, oh, I forgot to fill this in. I don't have anything to fill that in. Oh, well. So we could probably can't steal that block, actually. We're going to have to steal this one, which isn't really stealing because it's mine, so I'm stealing from myself. Is that even possible? Stealception. Anyway, let's go ahead and start the process. So we can put, um, we don't have to do the organic matter. We can put straight up leaves into a smeltery, uh, and I've also gone ahead and, and built in a, like a huge smelt, or not really huge, uh, but a big backlog of seared bricks. So we can go ahead and just create a whole new one uh, that's a little bit bigger down there so that we can have a good time. You know what I mean? So seared heater. This is uh, put in a casting basin with copper. And we get the goods. So I believe it's only like two ingots. I put the infusion altar in there. <laughs> okay, so we're going to take this guy out, do that, put him here. Once the copper is melted, like so, we can click this guy. And we're going to need two more, is it? Yeah. Just two more. All right, and there's our smeltery controller. Let's go ahead and get this guy set up. So we are actually, yeah, this whole process up here, we're going to be moving down here as well. All of this is going to be automated and then pumped into our system via this chest here. Probably going to switch that up a little bit, maybe make it, we're going to clean this whole area up quite a bit. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and start this out like so. And we might make this guy actually in the center now that I'm thinking about it. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Okay. So I'm just going to make it a little over a stack. Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and make it a really big guy. From like... Well, not really a big guy. I think front and center, because this is going to be, like, the whole reason we built this down here. Okay, so we can come out one more block in each direction. So it is going to be a bit bigger, and it will also be a little taller as well. So that'll be cool. <clears throat> so we come down here. The smeltery is right there. We're going to grab this guy and put him here. So then, actually, this needs to come out one more block. I lied. <clears throat> I mean that would that would have worked, but it wouldn't have been a perfect cube or a square. So yeah, bam. And then we'll come up here with the pillars. Oh, 
Oops. <clears throat> okay, that's going to make it a little tricky. We're going to probably have to reroute this cable around here, so we're going to need to get a little bit more of that. But yes, there we go. Much, as you can see, much bigger than our other two. All right, so that's been broken. Cool thing is there's a ma there's a mega torch right underneath the elevator block here, so we don't have to worry about anything spawning if it gets too dark. Uh, but inside this milter, we shouldn't have to worry about anything. And what's the glass? Seared glass is what we need. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. So that has been filled in other than this here. Uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and put a border around the top eventually. Um, and then we need to break this guy. It still works. I don't know why that works in Minecraft, but it does when you just randomly jump. Okay. So we don't need this anymore. We went a little overkill and used up all of our seared bricks. Um, we can melt them back into some seared stone, though, which is what we're going to go ahead and do. We're going to lose the glass, but that's okay. All right. And then once that's full, we're going to start melting it. Cool. Okay, so we've got this guy here. We'll put some lights around it, probably here. And here. That looks that looks cozy. Look how cozy that looks. This looks really odd, but this is what we want. Okay, so we're going to need a input and output guy. Um, fluid input. Actually, we don't need fluid input. We need item input. This is the guy we need. <clears throat> okay. Wow, that's filled up quick. There we go. Get that processed up. Oh, my. We have lots of materials to do. Cool. All right, so we're gonna have a total of the three of these item uh, item dudes, uh, so that we can have each of the items put in. Uh, we also need to make some tanks. See your tank like this. Uh, that's the next thing on our priority. And then after that's done, so what we're gonna do is along the back here, we're gonna have everything. We're gonna have the three inputs. This is where they'll come into. We're going to use the mechanism sorters, and we need to find the optimum, like, I need to grab a bunch of leaves, some clay, because we can't automate clay, um, and then some tin, we can't automate, we have tin automated already, we need to find the amount that equals out, um, so that there's none left, and then we need to find a way to make a timer, I believe there is a timer. So we might, we might be able to activate it every once in a while so it's all, like, we don't have, like, see, see how this is where we have way too much molten clay versus organic water? Like, we don't have any more room because we have so much clay that we can't actually make any more of the overall amount. And that's what we want to avoid. Um, so, yeah, I don't have any more clay going in. We're going to get a bunch out. But we need to find the optimum amount at which leaves and other things go in that make it better. Okay, so forget what I'm saying. That, that didn't make any sense. All right, so we made three of these. We're going to be filling each of these guys up. It's going to be good. Going to be good stuff. So lava, I think, we'll do lava here. It'd be cool if we could duplicate this on both sides and then have, like, maybe we just make this whole thing, uh, like, seared brick so you can't see through it. And then just do lots of lava. So we, we got to get some lava in here. And then we're going to be experimenting on the right amount of leaves, tin, and clay. You guys might know it off the top of your heads. I don't. So please forgive me. We're going to be learned together. All right. Cool thing is, is that we have plenty of lava. We'll also have to automate lava, which with pedestals should be pretty easy. So now if I do this, bam. This is, this is on, yes. Cool, actually, we need some seared bricks. I think we need to have the tanks 
and the smeltery on the same level. I could be wrong, but it's going to look aesthetically pleasing. Yes, yeah, so and now that the darkness goes away. Okay. So that's there. We need a few drains. We just actually, we're going to have two going. So we need some seared faucets, which is good. And then we need... Okay, we need some drains. Ah, so we do need this guy. We're going to need two of those. Okay. All right, and then we're going to need two more of these. And that should be everything that we need for now. All right, you know I got to make it look good. There we go. There we go. Okay. So, one leaf, one tin clay, and, or one tin and one clay. So, three of these. Let's see how much of that it gives us. So, organic water. We already got that. Got the clay. Tin's acting funny. So, these are going to mix together, and let's see what we have left. We don't have any, because I don't believe we have enough for it. Okay, so we're going to do two. All right, so we got the organic water in there. We got the two clay ingots. All right, so three. Let's look at... Um, overworld matter. What are what do we need? One to one to five hundred millibuckets. So so every leaf equals two twenty millibuckets. So we need 25 leaves per. So 22 leaves. If these all process up, should theoretically work. Uh, are we out of lava now? I think we're out of lava. Okay, so that did work. Um... Hmm. Hmm. All right. So let's set up a little bit of automation here. Uh, we're going to need an igneous extruder. Well, I guess so. All right. We're going to need to break this here. We're going to need to put some clay here. Put this guy here. He'll be making the clay once we give him the materials. Uh, so let's see. Let's grab some glass. All right. There we go. <clears throat> Man, you see how freaking stinking quick that was? It's like I'm a freaking maniac. Okay. So we need some lava. We got some lava here. Lava, I hardly know her. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, oh, I fall in. There we go. We have some lava. And we're going to grab We're gonna grab some high-quality H2O because Gatorade sucks. All right, here we go. And oh, one, a two, a three, a four, shebang. All right, so this should be. Hello. Do we need dust below? Uh. Uh. Hello. Oh shoot, we need dust, not clay. I'm an idiot. ID ten T problems. ID ten T problems. We need to make the dust. Yes, like so. Okay. Don't get, don't jump up, turtle. Come on, we jump down. Oh. <laughs> well, you when life gives you lemons. <laughs> okay, let's get on down here. Yeah, that one. All right, dust. Where did the... Oh, oh, okay. 
That's not weird at all. Okay, I was, uh, hmm. Well, okay. We need a compacting drawer. That's what we need. I'm copying Butcher because I can. And he's copied my, my cool base. So he can get copied, scrub. Okay, so we got our compacting drawer. We're going to be putting this in here because we want the materials. <clears throat> like so. So we put the the clay in there. Oh, frick. Um, how do we do this? We need to go into... <clears throat> we need an aqueous accumulator. Aque aqueous accumulator. This guy. We can make that guy. We're going to make this guy. It makes it the water. Okay, now we need the pipes. Woo, pipes. Guys, I'm super duper excited if you can't tell. I just finished off my new desk. It's got like a Canadian uh, walnut stain on it. I'm so freaking excited for it. Oh man. That's a pipe, not, we need items for that. <clears throat> okay, so aqueous accumulator. <clears throat> Is this what we do? We do this, boop. We do this, we do this. Information provides copious amounts of water requires additional water sources to function. Is that not a source? Come on, <clears throat> function. <laughs> we go into the depths. A boop, a boop, a boop. Now do you work? Ah, he works! Cool. <clears throat> All right. Look at that. It's beautiful. Pay no attention to the man behind the glass. Okay. So now all we got to do is get an item pipe. <clears throat> and we Gucci. We Gucci. Okay. Transportation device, this here. All right, so now if we do this, and we do this, that makes the clay. <clears throat> now we do this, and we do this. That's a pipe. Dang it, I did it again. We do this. <laughs> Dudes, that is freaking awesome. So clay is now 150% automated. So we're going to do external storage. Ooh, what's this? Okay, we don't need to worry about it. There we go. Ooh, we're out of those guys. External storage. We need the cable. The cab. Oh, we added the cable. Oop, not R. These. R. Ooh. <clears throat> Who has been in charge of our iron supply? It was me. Dio. Okay. Here we go. Boop, boop. All right. That should theoretically be enough to support our addiction to uh, wiring everything up. <clears throat> okay. So we're going to need to move. Oh, frick. We need to literally move the entire pipe. Not down, up. My brain sometimes just don't like to work right. Uh, do I have netherrack? We do. Netherrack is easy to break. All right. All right, so that's been hooked back up now. Perfect. All right, we can run the cable over to here. <laughs> Dang it, I'm too short. <laughs> All right, external storage has been hooked up. <clears throat> there we go. So now with this, boop, it's gone. <laughs> so if we check here, we have the clay. Perfect. All right, we're going to be creating a recipe for it because there is a way to automate the recipe so that we have a certain amount in our system at all times, and that's what I'm excited for. Okay, 
So, <clears throat> clay has been automated perfectly. All right, now we need to get the, the leaves. So, what I'm thinking is we get a bunch of saplings, right? And we get a bunch of saplings. And we get some more saplings. And then we say, ew, woo. Hold up, we're just gonna do this. And then redstone furnace, are you? Oh, you're still alive, oh good. Hi, you redstone furnace. All right, so let's go set up the, the leaves. I really want this to be overkill, so it's gonna be overkill. All right, so. Uh, this will pretty much be hidden because we're gonna have like a like a wall going here Because I realized that we're, we're gonna make this area look pretty ugly, but we do want it to look cool from the front um, So let's kind of work on that a little bit. We're gonna need some nice bricks Hmm, what looks good as bricks? Maybe bricks Let's see Ooh, that would be cool blue nether bricks. Hmm, maybe later not not for down here. I actually think that like a marble would look really good. Do we have marble? We do have diorite. Ooh, we can make marble. <laughs> Milk, what? Milk? Interesting, interesting. We'll have to look at that. I have a feeling that's gonna replace all of our walls down here. Um, straight up, let's just do seared bricks. All right, so this will take place. So it'll look like this. And then we'll have the wall. So like that. That's what's going to look like on, on bolt on each side. So it'll actually look pretty good. We might actually need to lower that one more block because uh, I think I'm going to do a half slab roof so that we can still cover all of this and we'll still have half a block here above. It'll still, it'll still look pretty tall, uh, but it'll also clean up the roof quite a bit. So we'll work on that later. So this will probably have to come down one more block. Uh, but this is where we're going to be kind of automating all of the stuff. So I want it like like this. Ooh, we can, this is perfect. All right, so each of these is gonna have a botany pot, right, right, right. And then this here. Okay, so I believe we are able to put a chest above a botany pot. I remember at one point you couldn't do that, like it needed sunlight. Um, we need some dirt, but let's give this a shot. I think it's a good idea or a good try. I tried to jump up again. Now I tried to go down and missed. Okay. So each of these has one. Okay. Now if I take, whoops, does this still grow? <gasps> it's still growing. Okay. I think really to test it out, I want to, ouch. I want to hold off. Because so we could do, I think three rows with it now. Yeah, we can do three. Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. That's a lot of leaves. And if you put dirt in here. Yeah, that that's actually going to work. Okay. Cool. We're going to have so many good things going on in this world. Uh, but we are out of Lee or botany pots for now. This whole wall is going to be the. Where did those go, though? Yep, we already got a few leaves. So we'll have this entire wall dedicated to producing leaves. And we're going to grab these sorters. Um, yes, this uh, logistical short sorter from. From mechanism and that is gonna go on the back of all of these and it's gonna pull out the items that we want we can break that for now okay so it'll be like a boom 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 
And then, yeah, we're going to have to fix that real quick. Wow, we have enough chests to do it. This is going to be cool. Okay. So I need one more logistical sorter for this system back end. We're going to need a lot of transport pipes. All right, so what are we missing for the logistical sorter? Just another one of these. That's easy. There we go. Our logistical sorter is in. He's going to sort the logistics. Right? That's what they're made for? Okay. So we're going to have to... Do we have the ability to copy filters? Hmm. Yeah, we can make a configuration card, and so we configure one of them, and then they we can click the other ones, and then they'll all, they'll all do the same. Perfect. All right, so let's get our logistical sorters all figured out. What do we need missing? Constantan. Hmm, how do we make that yet? Well, you just take this and that and make it good. Okay. So that has that in there. We can make more here. Oh, we have the Constantan here. So what are we missing? It's a mechanical pipe. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. So that should be good. We can make a trash can as well. Let's make that. All right. Trash can. Perfect. We're literally copying Butcher's setup, but just making it much more powerful. Um, yes. So, boom, 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 boom. Oops. Okay. So, now we connect these all down. Alright. And then, left to right. So... We'll need to set up a filter. <clears throat> Actually, no, we can't have it like that. We need... So what we'll do is we'll have the trash can here, right? Mechanical pipe. That's a pipe. Dang it. Why do I keep putting the pipes there? Pipe. Uh, we need the logistical transporter here. And then this will be the drawer that we're putting into. Right? So we'll say red, dark red for destroy. And then green is for the leaves. So what we do is we go like new filter. Actually, we'll grab it. Like so. New filter material this here oak leaves green so to pull out all of the leaves and put them into this here chest perfection we should actually be able to run cables through actually we're going to run the cables up over and then down here kind of like the other side okay so then we will grab the oak logs and the saplings and we'll have to make filters for these uh, material oak sapling, dark red, save, I am confusion, oh, saplings, not oak logs, okay, so, yeah, the saplings are gone, I was really confused there for a second, my bad, sorry about that, guys, okay, so here we'll do these for dark red as well, yep, there they go, okay, cool, 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 so what we want to do now is we're going to get the configuration card. This guy here. Uh, we need some more alloy. Cool, we've already got some. I didn't realize that. <clears throat> we're going to make some more as well. And then here we go. So this should save it. And the cool thing is we will tell right away that it's working. So click. If we click here, 
Yep, that's working. That's working, that's working, that's working, that's working, that's working. Cool, cool, cool. These are all getting sorted. We're going to have a lot of leaves coming in. It's going to be great. Uh, so we need to make another external storage for this guy. <clears throat> okay, so now we are going to run the cable all the way through. All right. This is going to take a bit because it is at the top. And I did bring a key, so we can go ahead and lock this in. So it's only going to be the oak leaves. And boom. Now it's connected to our system. We'll be able to see, you know, that there's 168 there. And I also went ahead and finished off all the rest of these as well. So all of them are there. Yes. So cool. All of the leaves. We can go ahead and upgrade the pipes as well. I don't know if we have enough. Yeah, we have more than enough, actually. Uh, so we'll be able to upgrade these all to the red tier, which is cool. So we'll start up at the top. Yeah, we only need three. So now the pipes are going to be much faster. The items are going to be moving along. But yeah, check that out, ladies and gentlemen. That is cool looking. All right, so leaves and clay, 100% automated uh, the other thing that's going to be an issue is the uh, tin. We have so much tin, we don't even know what to do with it, but we don't have a way to automatically process it. And that is the problem. So we need to find a way to chuck this into a something. All right, I personally think we do an enrichment chamber, and we go through mechanism and do it. Um, because if we do this, uh, enrichment chamber, we can double it as well, and then we can just throw it into an energized smelter. So we can both do, uh, mechanism. Let's get the energized and smelter as well, because we are going to need it. Let's see here. Energized smelter. Okay, so that's the next goal, is these two machines. We're going to have to automate them, so we're going to be using, we're probably going to be making another crafter as well, so that's cool. Um, going to need a lot of materials, though. All right, we're going to need more Electrum. That's okay. We got the Electrum. Or we, got, we have the process to make the Electrum. All right. Enrichment chamber. Steel casing. There we go. Ah, we're gonna need more steel as well. All right, so we have the enrichment chamber and the energized smelter all crafted up here. Uh, now the next part is to uh, build a spot for them to become automated. So, I think the best bet would probably, hmm, this is going to be a little tricky because we have power here and we have here, but I want to put this down here. Oh, we do have power. Okay, so we'll be able to make it work here. Perfect. Uh, we are going to need some more cable though, so let's go grab that. We need the mechanism cable for power. This guy, perfection. Beautiful. Eventually, when we get into the flux networks, we won't have to worry about that too much. Okay, so let's bring the power down. Okay. And then we can bring this down. Okay. So, I think the best bet, honestly, be to actually bump this out one more block. Like so. I'll just build on that. Okay. So, energized smelter. And this guy. We'll use the import exports over here. Uh, so, this is. We're going to input on the right, export at the bottom, and then this one. 
We will insert out the top and export out the bottom, or the right side. Eject on, perfect. Okay, so now we just need an importer and exporter. Ooh, we do have an importer, perfect. Do we have an exporter? No. Whoa. This guy. One of you. Oh. We need more processor bind. Whoops, not that guy. Okay, with all the materials, we can go ahead and create the exporter now. Cool. Let's go ahead and get these installed. Woo. Like I said, it's going to be pretty ugly down here, so don't fret too much. All right, so exporter, importer, there we go. Uh, and then we need a crafter. This guy. Ooh, wait a sec. What if we just made a crafter from the... Ooh, yes. Oh, no. <laughs> um... I, yeah, I believe this was an option. Let's see here. Um, I may actually have one of these. Yes. Let us see if this works. Because we might just be able to pump in the, the tin stuff. What? What is going on? I've never used it before, which I kind of regret. All right, so tin. We get we automatically get get tin. Green. Okay. So say we take this guy. We do that. We put export. Ten. It does work perfect, and it doesn't require power too. Ooh yeah. Okay. So we have hit the golden. We've hit the jackpot here. So we want the energized smelter to be on the bottom with an import bus on it or an importer, like so. There we go. And then above that, we want the enrichment chamber with a transporter right above because we're going to be receiving items from the top now. So that works. And then a factory there with an exporter on the side. And then we'll have this like that. And then 10. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So let's make those basic upgrades for it. Mechanism. Not you. This guy. Okay, so auto sort on, auto sort on. So yeah, this doesn't require any power and it is exporting all of our tin. There we go, that's being processed up into ingots. There we go, so we have clay, leaves, and tin all automated at this time. So we need 20 overworld matter. All right, and then we're gonna do a custom recipe. So we need to be here. All right, processing. 20 overworld matter. We need 25 leaves. We need one tin. And one clay.
Perfect. All right, and then we need. Duh, 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 duh. We do have a pattern for it. There we go. So that's our pattern. And next, we need to hook up. We need to actually move the smelter and get a crafter. So what do we need? Crafter. This guy. This guy. All right, and here's our crafter. Perfect. So let's go ahead and move that guy. We're going to have to move this, unfortunately. Oh, we're going to lose all of the stuff in there. Oh, well. I do not worry too much. All right, there we go. Do we get that glass back? We sure did. Cool beans. Actually, we're just going to do this because it looks uniform with our smeltery up top. Okay, so there we go. We take our crafter. We need to rotate that guy. I believe there was something we could buy that would act as... We need 15 of those. Do we have 15 C-Bucks? Mmm, I don't really want to use that. Um... Aha, we can just make a wrench. Perfect. That'll uh, let us turn the crafter to face the right direction. There we go. So, all we gotta do... Oh, wait. We just need the item import. We can leave our, our smeltery controller here, but we need to have the item import over here. Oh, frick. So we're gonna put that guy right here, then this guy right here, and then we rotate it, and then we put this guy in. All right, let's let's have a crack at it. Um, overworld matter. Let's go ahead and try it out. We're gonna go up to eighty. And let's see if it worked. Okay, so the clay's in. Now the tin is in. Oh my gosh, it worked. Okay, so we can automatically craft it. We're going to need another importer. Holy crap. Holy crap. All right, importer. Um, going to need some hoppers. Actually, we'll just use the logistic transporter. Frick, uh, I'm gonna grab a diamond chest. No, don't place that there. Okay, so done a little bit of work here. Um, we have the drains on the back. Now we're gonna put levers on the left and on the right. Uh, that'll let these guys continue to pour. Uh, these are gonna go into a diamond chest and then get put into the system with this here importer. So this whole thing has been automated. All I need now is just the levers. And then we also need to set up the automatic lava for this place, which I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, off camera um, when I take a quick break here. Uh, but let's go ahead and let's see. All right, so let's get these levers on and we'll get this process. Oh. All get this process rolling. The cool thing is it's super duper quick for how much is going out. So I don't believe we'll run into any problems, uh, which is good. So that is... Uh, Kind of crazy, yeah. As you can see, it's it's pulling out. Oh man, that is amazing. 
All right, guys, so pretty exciting if we come down here. Uh, we do have the lava semi-automated. Now, we just need to automate the uh, crushed netherrack here, which is actually a pretty easy process that we can fit back into here. Uh, but as you can see, we have them over the uranium blocks, which is a heat of 100, uh, so it's much better than lava. Uh, but, yeah, so super-duper cool. Uh, just the crushed netherrack, here we go. And, yeah, so now uh, we can request... Uh, overworld matter whenever we want. So we've got a hundred now. Let's go ahead. Yeah, do multiples of twenty. So 140. Yep, we have all the materials for that. Let's see how our system handles it. Oh wow. Okay. Oh, we have a malfunction. That should help out a lot. Uh, it's already done. Holy crap, it's already done. <laughs> oh my gosh! Guys, it is 100% automated. We don't have to touch it anymore. Ah, oh, no more of this stupid running around filling that up. It's, it's freaking amazing. So the only th step after that would be to find a way for it to uh, ask for it on its own, which our reform store, bleh, refined storage does have a process to do that. We'll look into that later, but guys, that has been Zeopolis. Guys, we set up auto crafting for the overworld matter, which means we can, we're one step closer, we're one step closer into automating all of our ores and all of that. So anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to hit that like button. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. But this has been Super Turtle, and we'll see you next episode. Peace out. Take care. Bye-bye.